You've all seen these types of videos on YouTube. Backroom shorts channels that make these shorts with fake lore, random collabs with famous like cartoon characters, and they have some of the silliest and dumbest AI generated dialogue that I have ever seen in my existence. And I've seen a lot. If you call a backrooms entity the N word. What happens if a pregnant person enters the backrooms? These channels have skyrocketed in number in the past year specifically. And in this video, I'm gonna be diving into the rise and some of the strangest backroom shorts channels and shorts that there are. I'm here to set the record straight. These things need to be stopped. Now! You didn't hear that voice crack. And you'll see what I mean by that. I made a video talking about Backroom's kids content a few months ago, you know, like last year. And this video is similar to that, but less serious note. You know, that was more of people taking advantage of kids. This is just a video talking about dumb content that is just engagement farming and farming for views. So if you enjoy that kind of thing and you want to see the Backrooms janitor clean up the platform a little bit, you're in the right place. Before the video starts, I ask that you don't, you know, hate on any of these people. I'm not going to show their channel names or anything, but I'm going to talk about their videos and their shorts. Don't go hating on them. Just hate the content because it's goofy and silly. This isn't to say that all of their content is bad. Most of it or some of it is horrible. Leave a like if you enjoy. Actually, leave a like for my sanity because it's gone after, I mean, I'm, I'm less of a human now. I gotta say, losing my mind. So without further talking, let's get into the video. So what is Backroom Shorts content? Like, what, what is it actually? Now, if you've been in the Backrooms fandom for a long time or just a couple of years, here's what you've probably experienced since 2020. You've probably seen my videos and Kane Pixel's videos videos, perhaps an old Mr. Ferrante video, and maybe another YouTuber or two that does found footages, like Velox or that Cubic Boy, or even X Backroom. Probably also seen another YouTuber that's done like a one-off Backrooms video, like Wendigoon or Nick Crowley or Raimundo or something like that. And really, that was all the content that the Backrooms had until last year in 2022. For some reason, 2022 was the year where kids' content farms just started to abuse the concept. And as a result, the shorts channels also popped up and began making stuff for the clicks for the engagement. The short form content didn't just stay on YouTube though. No, of course not. It also found a home on TikTok and on Instagram Reels, where it spread its stupidness all across the internet. Now, I'm not trying to take credit or place blame on myself, but in my research, I've actually found that most of these shorts channels didn't even start uploading until my shorts were blowing up at the beginning of 2022. I had this massive blow up from January to May where my shorts were just going crazy. And it wasn't until after that that these little suckers started popping up. Well, I am sorry if I'm the one that caused this or the one that inspired this, I didn't mean to. I do want to stress that shorts content for the backrooms is not inherently bad. And backrooms content that pushes the idea of, you know, lore or canon is also not inherently bad. For example, my What If You Nuke The Backroom Shorts series. That is an insanely popular series where it's just interesting. It's more of like a what if thing. You know, Marvel's done it with what if, and it's always fun to ask questions and push the boundaries of what the known lore is. Other shorts channels have done the same thing with what if a kid enters the back rooms or something like that? That's different. Those are simple. Those are easy concepts. Those are good concepts. It gets bad. You start taking the likeness of the back rooms and other things and AI generating scripts together to form these conglomerations of terrible videos. That's when the problem starts. So let's look at some of the examples of the shorts that I'm referring to. And let's just see firsthand why they're so bad, and they, they are so bad that it physically pains me. As usual, with these style of videos that I make, I'm gonna start with the least bad ones and then work my way up to the worst ones. Buckle up and get ready. Let's dive into it, shall we? Here's the first one, and this one isn't too bad. It's what if you attend a Christmas party in the back rooms? That's a pretty decent question. Let's see what they have to say. If you attend a Christmas party in the back rooms, there are three things that Three things? Happen. Okay. The first one, poison and lose your mind. The okay. Third one is that you will be celebrations okay. in the back rooms is strictly forbidden. So if you go to a party for Christmas in the back rooms, you're either going to get taken by an entity, poisoned by food, or sent to level you cheated. As you can see right off the bat, that wasn't too bad. It's just asking, you know, a simple question with a simple answer. It kind of started to stray away with the food stuff and the poison stuff and everything, but at least there were some found footages that they were using to complement what they were saying. The most annoying part by far, of course, is the AI generated voice that that kills me. I don't know why I just can't stand it. But as I said a few minutes ago, 
it's just gonna get worse from here, so might as well just rip the band-aid off and move on. What if a disabled teen enters the back rooms? Okay. Let's see. Disabled person enters the back rooms. Good things will happen. First, instead of level zero, he will enter level heaven. Second, he will okay. never get hungry or thirsty. If you don't want to enter the back rooms, like and subscribe. Oh, okay. And see, right there is the epitome of the problem that I have with this style of content. See, asking that question is not you know, the worst thing ever. It's, it's like, you know, there's disabled people and they want to know about the back rooms. There's probably people that really want to know what happens if a disabled person goes to the back rooms. The issue is when they turn it into something that doesn't make any actual sense. Okay. I know the back rooms isn't supposed to make sense, but at the end there, what, what was that even, what were they even saying? Or was it necessary for that to be said? I don't think so. But no, 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 um, You know, but I'm sure that it's not going to get that much worse, you know. What if, a, what if a disabled person enters the back rooms? That's pretty strange, pretty off the rocker a little bit. I promise you it gets worse. What if Riggy enters the back rooms? Oh, sweet mother of pearl. But Riggy is a children's animated character from a series on YouTube. The series has been going on for about a year, and this is on the same level as kind of like, what if Bluey was in the back rooms, or what if like Huggy Wuggy was in the back rooms? That's what this is for. Let's just see what would happen if old Riggy got sent to the back rooms, though. If Riggy enters the back rooms on Halloween, some okay. interesting things may occur. Let's see. Firstly, Riggy will be teleported to the level fun of the back rooms. Oh, okay. Halloween party with party creators. Okay. Secondly, due to Riggy. Right there. Another problem. Oh, we're about to get into some more problems. But the first problem, the AI dialogue is all the time doing like typos and mispronunciations. And that makes no sense. Okay. There were, if you're going to use AI, just might as well do it right. You know, now we're talking about Riggy's criminal record. Record. He doesn't stay there for long and send okay. to the cool room. What am I listening to, bro? What is this? I'm not even a grammar police person, but like, it makes no sense. If you're going to do this and put a script in AI, at least use the right punctuation, okay? We already have a failed concept when Riggy enters the backrooms. Another children's character entering the backrooms. And then the incorrect grammar and the incorrect spelling, and it's just a tough watch, man. It also makes no sense from a found footage standpoint. I mean, the footages they're showing aren't even theirs, and, you know, they're not credited anywhere. They're just using random footages with the music and everything to get the engagement. That's all I can see happening. And the issue is, these videos have hundreds of thousands of views and likes and comments. But no, again, it, it'll continue to get worse. What if you fart? inside of the back rooms this is the question that all of us have been wondering all of us so let's just let's just watch let's just check it out if you were to fart in the back rooms some stinky things will happen firstly in the first two minutes all entities will die because your farts are more nasty than my dad's secondly the entity also known as the fart man will appear and will put a bottle up your ass. okay as we can see there the random vulgarity, even though it's probably, you know, a, a bit, it's still vulgar. You know, it's still got 70,000 views. And I always find it interesting that the comments that are getting highlighted are like donated comments. That's just, just interesting to me. But besides that, as you can see, the concepts themselves are losing brain cells each time. They're getting worse and worse and worse. And it's just coming to the point where random stuff is happening. It's, it's what if blank. What it, what it doesn't ha it doesn't matter. There's no rules anymore. And as I've said before, I'm really not a stickler for you know keeping to the lore and the canons. But stuff like this, man, what what is the purpose of this style of con? What is the intellectual properties gained from this? Like I said, I'm pretty sure that guy's entire channel is a meme making fun of the AI generated channels, which is actually pretty funny in and of itself. But still, those videos are still getting hundreds of thousands of views. So there's still a market for that style of video, even though it's a parody. And that just goes to show how far these backroom shorts channels have gone. But no, 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 it can't get worse. There's literally no way in heaven or on earth in which it's going to get worse. What if you call a backrooms entity the N-word? Like, bro, what is this and why are people watching this? I don't understand. Here we go. You call a backrooms entity the N-word. Okay. Bad things will happen. Firstly, if it's a white entity... They and you know, and we'll rewind it in a second, but I've noticed something else with these shorts. A lot of them use all those sound effects and all those clickings and all those and all those like whooshing sound effects and constant footage changes. And I guess that's just for um, retention. You know, I guess they just want to keep as many people watching for literally as long as possible. But it gets to the point where it's like overdone and all of them are doing it now. I think a few of them started doing it and literally all these channels are doing it now. And another issue is it's hard to differentiate and tell the difference between these channels at this point. All the channels that do these shorts post such similar content that it is so hard to see which channel you're watching. And since they're all using AI voices, you can't even tell. On all these channels, you can just scroll down infinitely and you'll see pretty much the same video 
over and over and over again. You'll see the same exact captions in the same exact place, the same exact person asking the questions, You'll see the same exact stuff across literally all of these channels. I mean, I'm literally showing you three different channels, three different ones. And you can quite literally not even differentiate any of them. They all look the same. There's a fourth one. Completely different channel. All the same. Look at this. The market for this is wild. All using the same exact bombastic faces and edits and, and every caption and everything's the same. It's literally the same. Copy and paste. Let's try this again. Call a back rooms entity the N -word. Okay. Some bad things will happen. Bad things. Firstly, if it's a white entity, they will okay. not give two sh because let's okay. be honest, white people are always racist. So okay. Stopping back rooms entities from being the same. Secondly, okay. if it's a black entity, you better start sprinting, you dumb back. Because if not, let's just say they will maul your f***ing face off and then eat it like if it was candy. Don't you dare say the N-word in the back rooms or you'll be f***ing little n kidding. You'll still be f***ing mauled to death, regardless of the color of the entity. But it's for getting close to it. To survive the back rooms, like and subscribe. If you call a back... But I mean, literally, what I mean, that AI voice literally was just saying like almost racial slurs in this video, but it's, this is what's happening. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this guy's channel's a parody, but even then, dude, the fact that it still gets this many views because it's making fun of something so bad is actually hilarious to me. You might've seen the original upload of this yesterday on Sunday when it came out, but I was contacted by X Backroom, who is another guy that does YouTube shorts for, for Backrooms videos. And he's actually one of the OGs. He's literally has been doing this. First one was literally way back. Yeah. April 17th, 2022. So two years ago, he started doing this. He has almost a million subscribers on YouTube. And he told me about some other channels that just outright steal his content and his footages that he has and copy the exact style of video he's doing. As you can see, he's been doing this style for the longest by far with these footages and stuff. And he pretty much started the like the what if thing in the back rooms. And ever since then, there's been several other channels that have been stealing that idea. Channels like this one. Look at this. Almost identical to X Backroom almost identical to the exact same videos he makes. What about this channel? Almost identical as well. Literally the same footage he uses right here. Copying his exact thing. And these are new. I haven't mentioned these at all previously in this video. These are all new channels that I found. Look at all these. Here's another channel. Completely different channel. Look at that footage right there. Completely different channel using the exact same footage as X Backroom. Completely. These, these are three different channels that have copied specifically, you know, him in, in the recent months and years. And this is, I mean, this is crazy. They're using the exact same footages, the exact same prompts, the exact same AI voice and everything. And they're just diluting it. I found it. This is the video. Check this out. If a skibidi toilet were to enter the back rooms. No, I can't. I can't watch this. I can't do it. I'm sorry. But thanks to X Backer for notifying me about those channels that are that are pretty much just robbed his entire style. I didn't even realize that he was the first person to do this kind of video. And all those different channels have literally just done similar or the exact same thing to an extent. Shout out X Backroom for joining the hunt and cleaning up the YouTube Backroom space because it's seriously getting messy. I just want to know who is watching this and interacting with this style of content and pushing it to the algorithm and how is it getting these many views, you know? The overdone editing and sound effects. And I know I edit my videos and I do that, you know, kind of in a MatPat style. By the way, I miss you MatPat already. I'm Really sad to see you quit. Just the, the bombastic, crazy swooshes and whooshes and footages that don't even have anything to relate to the video. They're just these bright and glamorous videos. And then the random dialogue with the, the captions popping up. And I'm, all I'm saying is I started the caption thing. There was nobody doing backroom shorts before I did the captions like that. And I feel like I have created a monster. I feel like Dr. Frankenstein and I have created the animal, the monster, the thing that will haunt me in my dream. And we've just scratched the literal surface in this video so far. There's more and it gets worse. No, because as I said, it does not stop at YouTube shorts. Here we are on Instagram. And here is more of the same exact content just downloaded and re-uploaded onto Instagram. Okay, I'm not gonna log in. Galavan over here to TikTok. Oh, look what it is! It's the exact same content reposted to TikTok. And for some reason, you can check out the views. For some reason, people are watching this all. I, I mean, could it be the sound effects? Could it be the footages? Could it be the actual content itself? I don't know, and I don't think we'll ever know. You know, and to an extent, I really can't even blame these creators. They found something that they've latched onto, and it's blown them up from the short form content. And if you have content that works on three different platforms without having to edit it specifically for those three different ones, 
you're golden. You're going to be famous or, you know, popular or whatever on three platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. But in my humble opinion, as a long form YouTube creator, the brain rot of these backrooms themed shorts has to come to an end. It would not be as bad if it was an AI generated dialogue and just the stupidest prompts ever, but who knows? Maybe one day it'll be fixed. Maybe one day, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll actually not be five foot. Maybe when the cows come home or when the pigs fly, uh, yeah, this will be better. But now leave a like if you are not a fan of these shorts. If you are, again, that's no problem, man. You can have, you can be a fan of it. Don't go hating these channels. Don't go hating these people. I just think that the style of content is not the best. It's no bueno for me, and that's okay. It's a preference. I just think it's brain rot to uh, make those kind of videos. As I said, I have a sneaking suspicion that I might have started it with my shorts. So I'm sorry for that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want more video essay whatever kind of video this is, leave a like as well, and I'll be glad to do them. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the comment section, because I'm sure there's going to be a ton of civil comments on this video. Thanks so much, and peace.